guys, it's me, Brittany. I wanted to do my In My Mailbox for this week. Um, I got quite a few books I, that I'm pretty excited about. Um, first, I want to do some that Farrah and I both were sent for us to read and review. The first one is Ada, Legend of a Healer by R.A. McDonald. Um, it's basically... I haven't started it yet, but it's about this girl who, she has the power to heal people. I don't know. It sounds really interesting, and I've seen good reviews for it on um, Goodreads, so I'm pretty excited about it. I don't know. We'll see. Um, then we both also got e-versions of books. One was um, Last Bus Out by Beck McDowell, Bolin Tudor Vampire by Sincere Santiago. I totally massacred that name and I'm so sorry. I really am. Um, I don't know how to say it though. So, I don't know. Um, and I have both of them are being sent to my Kindle. They're both saying pending, so we'll see when they get on there. Um, but yeah, those were three that we were sent to review. And I also got I actually got these two books last week, but I didn't do it in my mailbox because I suck. But I love them so much, and it is Perfect Chemistry by Simone Elkles. Wait, did I? I might have mentioned this one already in the thing. But I didn't tell you guys that I got Rules of Attraction by Simone Eccles. I so love this cover more than Perfect Chemistry. I'm sorry. Like, I love both of the books. I do. And with Farah, the first one, I'm not really feeling it. You know? But, um, oh, love both of these. I cannot wait for Chain Reaction to come out. I even though I kind of, this is weird, I know, but I kind of usually like the good girl with the bad guy, so it's going to be interesting reading about the good guy with the bad girl, which will be happening with Luis Fuentes in the third book of the Perfect Chemistry series. And it's called Chain Reaction. But if you haven't read these, they're amazing. I love them. I've been thinking about doing a video review for them, but I just don't have time. I really, I don't know. I'm so busy. But both are amazing. Lots of people were saying that they think Perfect Chemistry is better than Rules of Attraction, but I love them both. I do. I love Alex and Carlos, so... Um, and I actually got, I loved the series so much that one of my friend's birthdays is coming up and I'm hoping she doesn't watch this, but I got her the book as well for her birthday. And yesterday I went to Recycle Books. Um, it's a used bookstore here in the town that I live in and it used to be an old opera house and it's on the square and um, the town, I don't know, is it safe to say the town I live in? I don't know. Um, it, I live in Denton, and, um, I love the bookstore. It's really cool. Uh, the books tend to be a little bit more expensive than, like, half price books, or if you get something off of Amazon, but I love the place. I love the vibe there and everything. And I got three books. One of them was The Unwritten Rule by Elizabeth Scott. This sounds really good, and I keep meaning to read something by her, because, like, all of her books are on my to-read list, or my to-read, yeah, my to-read list, but I haven't picked up any of them, and I saw this, and I was like, why don't I get it, you know? Um, it's about this girl, she likes her best friend's boyfriend, and I think something will happen between them, and, I don't know, it just seems really interesting, I'm excited about it, I'll let you guys know, I might do a video review of it, if I don't, I definitely will do a written review. Sounds good. Um, and then I had to get a book of um, kind of essays for my creative writing class to read and review. And I got Dress Your Family Family in Corduroy and Denim by David Sedaris. And I've read a few of his essays and they're hilarious. Like laugh out loud funny. It's not young adult, but I don't know. I love him. I, I don't have any of his books, so I'm excited about reading it, and I have to read it for class, so it's a win-win. And I also had to get, for creative writing, a book of poetry, and I got 
figure studies by Claudia Emerson. I don't really know much about her, but she was on, um, this book was on the list of ones that I could choose from, and I found it, and it sounds pretty good. I don't know. We'll see how it goes. Um, but yes, that is my, t in my mailbox pile. I believe it's all I got in the last two weeks. I think so, yeah. But, um, I just wanted to let you guys know that Farrah and I bought our plane tickets to go to New York City for the Book Expo of America, or BEA, yesterday. We bought them yesterday, and we're so excited. I've never been to New York, and uh, I have been, I've wanted to go there since I don't know how long, since I don't know how old I was. But I'm really, really excited about it, and Farrah's been there a couple of times, but, you know, she's excited, of course, too. And um, I just wanted to let you guys know that I have midterms coming up this week, and I have some essays and everything, and I'm so crazy busy with school and work, so I won't be able to do much this week. Like, I'm going to kind of suck on the blog. I'm sorry. And I just wanted to let you guys know. Um, I'm going to, of course, try to keep up, you know, our weekly memes that we do, but... Um, I don't know. I don't have time to read, so I can't put, I don't think I'll be putting up a review or anything. I'm still reading The Lost Voices by Sarah Porter and The Iron King by Julie Kagawa, which I was reading last week. So, I don't know. But the following week is spring break. I'll be working on essays and group research papers, but um, hopefully I'll have more time to read. And I just want to let you guys know, and let me know what you guys got in, your, in my mailbox, and if you what you think of any of the books... I showed in my pile. Um, I don't know. And any suggestions or anything. And let me know if you're going to BEA. I don't know. I feel like I'm rambling, so I should probably get off of here. But, alright, I'll talk to you guys later.